Okay, now that we've got our main floor in good shape, our upstairs uh, is okay. We're going to go downstairs into the basement. Uh, it's a wet environment, so I put my uh, rubber boots on for that. I've got my squeegee to move water and some mud. I've got a shovel to shovel up drywall. Of course, my safety glasses and gloves. And then my mask as well, because it's going to be a wet, uh, moldy environment down in the basement. Cool. All right, we've uh, taken the squeegee and removed the water from this bedroom in the basement. So we've got a relatively dry floor. We've taken the drywall off the walls, and so now we can start the process of removal of the drywall. A strip shovel like this is useful, and five gallon pails. And once you get the fill, Then you can carry them up the stairs. Wet drywall can be very heavy, but usually in these five gallon pails, taking either one or two at a time up the stairs, it's a fairly efficient way of removing the drywall from the basement. Now if you look at the ceiling here, sometimes the tiles will have already fallen down, but in this case, we do need to remove these tiles. I've got my hard hat on. Of that, you can see a fair amount of moisture. If you don't remove the ceiling tiles, you'll see up here on the beam how wet they are. That'll rot some of these floor beams. The insulation should be removed as well because that'll hold the moisture in on the underside of your floor. And again, you'll have mold and rotting problems. So it's important to remove insulation, the ceiling, the walls. We've already removed the carpet here by cutting that up into strips.